Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction and welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a huge hi if you are new to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sheet faced Saturday and I have a special guest with me. This is Bart, commonly referred to as The Hubby on Twitter. And since Father's Day is coming, I kind of thought that he should come on and discuss some of his favorite beauty or skincare items. And today we will be doing the Basha masks. He's all about this. He is going to be doing the luminizing black mask. If it'll focus. <laughs> And I will be doing the Sake Brighten Bright Whitening Mask. Am I too illuminating already? You are too illuminating too already. already. So we're going to put these masks on and he can start. And we're going to open our, I am drinking the usual, Bud Light Rattler. And what's Bart drinking? Oh, it's local from, from uh, I think it's Cochrane. <gasps> the Stump Splitter. The stump splitter. And then very non sexual uh, beer, even though it's got a very sexual name. Good thing I'm not monetized. <laughs> Cheers, thank you for being on my channel. Oh, you're very welcome. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It's funny though, when I mentioned it this morning, I said, Will you be on my channel? Oh, no, no, no. And then I go upstairs and he's setting out all his items, getting ready. I knew there was no getting out of it. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get to it, and while we're putting it on, just... You, you mix this with the beer, then, or what no, do you do? No, you just smear it all over your face. Mm. And then you gotta let it dry, and then you painfully peel it off. Mmm. Well, this sounds like a lot of fun for a Saturday night. I could have thought of other things to do. <laughs> so while we are doing this... I need my glasses. Like Peter Mon says, you don't have your glasses on, you can't do math. Mm-hmm. And I've lost my mask brush that I've talked about in other videos, and it makes me very sad. But we shall survive. Okay, I gotta see. You gotta see? Get a goop. Start smearing. Ugh, don't get it in your eye. Oh, I'm actually in the oil patch, too. Yes. For those of you who don't know, both Bart and I are oil field. I could go protesting pipelines with this one. Oh, sure. yeah. yeah, and use all your your gas to drive there. You're hogging my mirror. Oh, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I'll use this one. You use that one. So, so yeah. I got enough whiskers going. I'm going to more focus on the forehead. That's really where I need to illuminate more than anything. Well, yours isn't illuminating. I thought it was illuminating. No, it's lu luminizing. Luminizing, and I think yours is like for pores. Because I know that's a big... So I'll sweat better out of my bald head. There we go. You should, like, do your whole head. <laughs> we need another... We need to go to the bedroom where we got the mirror on the ceiling there. This is why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Do you want to tell a quick story about how we met or something while we put masks on, or do you want to just go right into your products? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> How did we meet? Well, I'll, I'll fill in the blanks. He'll fill in the blanks. Well, I actually knew you for a long time before we actually met. Because, dun dun dun, I was living with his best friend. And he would call to talk to his friend, even though his friend wasn't home. Well, this is a good look. <laughs> you look hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we talked. I think I need to do my nose too. Yeah, do your nose. We talked for a long time before we actually met. And when we met in person, the first words out of his mouth was, do you have any Irish in you? And I said, I don't know why. He's like, you want some? <laughs> I was a class act. Right he was a class go. act right from the get-go. Yes. And I believe it was that same visit. Oh, it's wonder I too. Oh yeah. See him bagging up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he asked. We had all gone out partying one night. Was it on Electric Ave? No. Uh, 
That's a lot of years ago. A lot of beers ago. A lot of beers ago. Um, I would like to state for the record that he was not very clear in his communication. Um, he asked me, would you ever date someone like me? To which I replied, yeah, your buddy's hot. <laughs> well, he really wasn't, though. No, he was not a nice man. Um, actually, I wouldn't even go so far as to call him a man. But yeah, and so we remained friends, and he continued calling me at all hours of the night for years. I finally not, not for booty calls or nothing. It was actually a lot of times because I was working in the oil field up 24 hours a day sort of thing, middle of the night. So I'd be driving from one town to another to do another job and uh, be falling asleep at the wheel. And I had a Aurora telephone. Actually, nobody's probably old enough to know what an Aurora telephone is. Actually, no. They're probably arcs. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, I'd call 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. And Jamie was always nice enough to be on the phone with me until I got to my next location, safe and sound. There were times, he was a cementer at the time, and there were times that he would call me at like two in the morning, and the cementing would get done, and he'd say, oh, just sec. So he would get out of the vehicle, I'd be on the phone, trying to stay awake. He'd finish the cementing job, and then come back, and I'd still be on the phone and talk to him. All right, I, this is perfection if I've ever seen it myself. Yeah, you're looking pretty. Yeah. You, know, you know what? You look like a superhero. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a bigger face than you or something? How come mine doesn't look as Oh, I go thicker. I get the deep pores. Oh. Wow. I, I don't think I do. Am I all the way back in my head? Oh, uh, you can go back a little further. Oh, no, I've missed mix masks. So, uh -huh. anyway, I finally got rid of that boyfriend I had at that time. And we lost touch for how many years? Yeah, probably five years anyways. At least five years. And then uh, we found each other on Facebook. And we started hanging out. Just stalk me on Facebook. I didn't stalk you. Uh, we started hanging out. I'd invite him to my birthday party. We'd go to the bar. He'd laugh at me. We'd be out having a smoke or something at the bar. I'd see a cowboy pull up and I'd be like, yeah. And then he would laugh when the cowboy would get out of the vehicle and he'd be all of four foot tall. I'm six foot tall. He had a hat. He had a hat and a pickup. But, uh. It's Alberta, everybody drives pickups. So. <laughs> Jamie's standards weren't all that high back then. No, I had a lot of bad boyfriends. <laughs> My standards were high. So yeah, then we started. No, 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 we didn't start dating at all. You Oh, should you, I, I, you, you want took, to get You took me out to the bar then to meet your friend. I didn't intentionally want him to meet my friend, but I was out with a single girlfriend of mine, and Bart came along, and... I thought Jamie was doing some pimping. Like, I thought that's... <laughs> I thought that's what she was doing. Bart thought Wait, I was... Sure. Yeah, sure. Bart was thinking I was trying to set him up with said friend. And keeping in mind at this point, I... Bart was just a friend. So did. Yeah. So then Bart goes and dances with said friend. Then he's dancing with me and he says, Hey, your friend's kind of hot. And Jamie says, Yeah, but she's got some serious baggage. I threw my friend under the bus so <laughs> fast it wasn't even funny. But the funny thing was, as I was dancing with the friend, the friend was asking me. Oh, screwed over. The friend was asking me, why aren't you and Jamie together? And I just laughed. So, Because I said the last time I asked her out, she laughed at me. So I said, you know, and that was 13 years before. Yeah, 13 years before. So that was April 9th, 2009. And been missed a lot of days together working away. And they've never missed one single day. Yeah. Of talking to each other. Yeah. Even when he worked overseas, even if he had to hike to the top of a sand dune or something, he has. He every has single called. day. Every single day. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we started dating. Yeah, April 9th. April 9th. 9th we went to down to Sturgis together. We were almost going to elope at that point, but the coin toss. Yeah, we were at an intersection in... 
was the Idaho Montana border. Right. Flip the coin. One way was Vegas, the other way was Sturgis. We went to Sturgis. Based on coin coin toss. Yeah. So we weren't even engaged. You know? No, we had only been dating. Actually, our friends were making fun of us. Yeah, our friends were making fun of us. They thought we were married. Or shouldn't be. Yeah. But, yeah, went down to Sturgis, came back, and it wasn't long after that. Nope. You proposed? August 14th, 2009. Yeah. And he's, he had asked me to move in with him, what, a week before that? Yeah. Because he thought I was on the on the trail to figure out that you were going to propose or something. Yeah. No, I'm being sneaky. Yeah. And uh, so when he was proposing and he's like, you know, when I asked you to move in with me, that's not what I wanted to ask. My first instinct was, son of a bugger, he's going to ask, tell me I can't move in with him now. I've already moved half my crap. Yeah. I was just, I was just after the good plates. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the rest is history. We're going to put that on later. I'm not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You need the full experience. I do. So, anyway, that is our meeting marriage yep. story. Only ones married in Vegas in January that weren't expecting a child. Yeah. Every <laughs> other... I know. Every woman in his family... Honey. ...has been pregnant when they walked down I the aisle. Except for my mom. Yeah, his older brother was born like six months after, but yeah, she wasn't, yeah, she yeah, wasn't that's pregnant. Right. That's right. Um, he was just little. He was only nine pounds. I was uh, I was the first one not to be knocked up walking down the aisle. Yeah. So. Yeah. Was... Not long after, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I am going to relinquish the floor over to you to give my folks. Oh, you don't have to. Give my folks some Father's Day gift giving ideas, stuff that you love and recommend. Oh. Is it feeling tight? And I don't like looking at myself in the in the picture here now. Oh laugh no. every time I see my face. <laughs> well, look at like everybody camera. else. Yeah. Uh I'm okay, not, scoot over because you're not in frame. Oh, I'm not in frame. I'm not much of a of a beauty type guy, is what I told Jamie until I started bringing my stuff in and all of a sudden I have about 30 pieces of gear here that I use on a daily basis, so. He's low maintenance. I am low maintenance. But I just, I, I want to talk, well, a little bit about, maybe you can invite your husband to watch some of this and he can laugh at me too. It's just some of the things that I, uh, you know, as far as more of a shaving routine, I don't really do much else. Um, I'm a big believer in the four steps of, of the shaving. One is making sure your beard's moist, then oil, then the shave, and then the, the post regimen. There's a, of course, with everything, there's there's such a high dollar value put on all these products. And actually, there's one thing that I have here that is so cheap, and especially if, if you have uh, sensitive skin, uh, a lot of people want to believe it's the razor or it's this, it's that. A lot of it's your your pre your pre shave regimen would be the best way routine regimen. routine yeah uh, having having a shower first uh, making sure you pay attention to your wife's videos and find out what her most expensive hair conditioning product is because that's what you want to put in your beard to soften it before you shave. Don't touch the La Mer. Yeah, the La Mer. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, so once once you're done in the shower, you know you want to right away get to the sink. I'm not a not a big fan of shaving in the shower, and I'll actually show you a few of my razors um, for you know maybe maybe if you're using a you know like one of these which is not meant for faces, even though they sell a billion of them a year, give it to your wife, let her shave her legs with it. Don't or buy the Lady Bix. Or if you want to shave your own private area, that's maybe the only thing it's good, any good for. Is if you can actually see on the side, it's not gonna, I gotta black out my, black out my blackout face. <laughs> you've got blades and then you've got about an eighth of an inch gap. I don't know how you have any sort of accuracy, even with this top, little top blade. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, that's supposed to be for detailing. These things are meant for shaving private areas on women, not on men. Not not for men's faces, you know. This is a Gillette Fusion 
I know you get the five blade, ten blade, thirty blade. You know they're crazy, but all they're doing is wasting your money at what are these things going for? They're expensive. Seven bucks a pop or something. It'll last you three shaves. Garbage. The next I don't really use very much. Uh, sometimes I like to, but is the old fashioned safety razor. I found this one at a secondhand an an antique store or a junk shop. I think I paid two dollars for it. The only hard thing with these is finding these. Do I have to hide right now? No. <laughs> Hydrate there you go. Oh, and then it's upside down. I do it all the time, oh. especially in flower beauty stuff. Anyways, they're the typical little, little double sided, double sided. They come wrapped, which is nice, but they're great little blades. You know, there's there's a million different brands. They're, they're getting harder and harder to find, but you would just, you just open them up, throw your blade in, you know, super simple. Uh, there's a, a million tutorials on how to shave with these things, so I'm not going to go into that. But they're uh, they're nice, actually. If uh, if you're wanting to shave in the shower, this is the one I would recommend. As far as at the sink, and I say manly, but I, I don't really even mean it that way. I mean it more. Um, you got to take care of yourself a little bit, right? And self love. That's not self love. That's a different thing. When the lights are out. <laughs> The wife's going to bingo. <laughs> but uh, I've got two. Jamie had bought me one down in the States, uh, uh, Tears of Sard, which is a fantastic, fantastic brand. Uh, it's got metal scales. These are the scales. This is the blade. They're hollow ground, so they're super sharp, which also makes them uh, a little bit delicate. Like in all, all of these razors are hollow ground. Uh, you can't see that. But anyways, it's it's dished in rather than a straight, uh, straight sided blade. Like uh, maybe Jamie can help me with that. Yeah, there you go. It's too fine. That's okay. Yeah. That's a great great razor. Uh, I was just looking online. I think about three hundred dollars is what these are going for. And this is my other one. This is a Boker, uh, it's an Edelweiss is the, the, the uh, model name, Boker is the brand. There's synthetic ivory, they look like ivory, but, uh, and of course the rounded tip on the end, you see the ones that look really funky that are square, or they've got a point or whatever, and that's just all style and fashion, and I mean, as far as trying to do this yourself, those are just edges that are really sharp and too pointy that are gonna, gonna take a gouge out of you. It's a bit of a learning curve to uh, to learn how to do these. So while you're using your uh, your uh, what would we call these? Disposable. Yeah, disposable. I was going to have a fancier <laughs> word for it, but your, your your pubic razors, whatever, your leg razors, uh, for more of the chin lines and stuff. Until you get done, when you first start with these, just only just do the cheeks. Uh, don't do jaw lines or even neck for, for a while until you really get a feel for it. Once you do, it's actually easy. I can shave now in five minutes. Half hour. Half hour. <laughs> but anyways, when I started, it was actually quite some time. So anyways, these are, this was, uh, I saw online this morning, Canadian price, 275 So in the States, it'll be cheaper. And of course, there's a few more places in the States that I've seen too where these things are available. So it gets to be uh, a little bit easier to, to find. Yeah, in Calgary, which is our nearest big city, it's a, there's only one real place, and it's like in the hipster part of town, yeah. and we're well, not, not yeah, really you know, hipsters. No, not hipsters. I appreciate the hipster. Uh, I really do. I'm not even making fun. I appreciate their contributions, so to speak. A lot of people don't think they do, but they've brought back a lot of the, the good old things that our grandfathers did, you know, the straight razors. I'm not a hipster. I'm more of a hillbilly hipster, so, you know, a hillster, maybe. <laughs> to coin a phrase um, those are as far as razors go you know the, you can start anywhere with some of the little shave at ones which are folding for 30 bucks and you can go I was seeing today on that one site it's like $1,200 but you start talking about the the side scales there 
they're actually made out of uh, you know the one was actually woolly mammoth horn uh, that that they had and I mean that's that's just all show and it's ridiculous the same blades in them it's kind of like our Natasha Denona palettes that have crushed pearls and whatnot in them yeah <laughs> uh, second thing is always a brush something that you can skip on a bit but I I wouldn't you go for the pure badger I mean there's about ten different grades of them. They'll start from anywhere from 10 bucks to 200 bucks. So the only uh, thing, this is actually one that Jamie had got me, uh, Pure Badger is actually from the Art of Shaving. The only thing I don't like about it, I've got such big hands that uh, the, the handle is a little small. Big like, hands. It means he wears, he wears big gloves. Big gloves. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, it's a, it is, it's a nice brush. It's just the handle's too small. Um, as far as the shaving goes, you've got obviously your shower with your wife's expensive conditioner. Uh, then you want to pre-oil, put a put a nice oil base on your beard before you lather up, and then uh, well we can talk about the the pre-oil first I guess. Yeah, go for it. You're the you're running the show. So I've, I've actually you know I guess I'm pimping them out or whatever the art of shaving. I think some of the some of the best stuff on the market is you know I know there's more expensive this is uh, a, a fragrance that's no we're not quite sure how to say this whether it's wood or oud but it's spelled O-U-D that's a it's a nice smell Lady, I, uh, ladies I, you're gonna want to check out that scent so you got everything they used to have soap and now they don't have soap anymore we've so. been searching Amazon we've been searching Nordstrom's we've been looking at Amazon to find the soap in that scent because it's yeah. I shouldn't say just ladies, but yeah, get your man to use that soap. Yeah, your man, whether you're a lady or a man, it's a, it's a great smell. It's a very, uh, I wouldn't even say it's rugged, it's more... I don't know how to describe it. it. It's, 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 <laughs> well, it's, it's a manly smell. It is a manly smell without being, um... Some, some of these, uh, you know... Again, it's not I'm, Old again, Spice. Again, I'm not, yeah, it's not Old Spice, it's, but it's, it's, uh... Even as far as the uh, the male fragrance line goes, it's not a feminine smell. It's a very yeah. There's no floral notes. It's no, a very it's woody. woody. Yeah. yeah, I like it. The sandalwood used to be my favorite. I really liked it. It had a little more floralness to yeah. it, but really nice. Uh, so, anyways, this was the pre-shave oil. Squirt it on, lather it into your beard. Does it foam and stuff? No, it doesn't foam at all. It is just purely an oil, which kind of gets me into the next thing I'll talk about in one second, but. Uh, and then, guys, when you're shaving, shave twice. First time up, down, second time up. Watch some other videos, but uh, that's the the basis of it. Uh, but oil before both times, uh, especially if you have sensitive skin, and, and which gets me into if you have sensitive skin, which some of us do, not because you have sensitive skin, but maybe you're shaving a little too hard, too much pressure. You know, you get the ingrown hairs. Half of that's because you're not shaving properly. But anyways, the cheapest shaving thing on the market, and I love it, and actually when I was overseas, because I couldn't take a lot of my stuff with me because of the flight restrictions, flight restrictions and getting into, into Saudi Arabia and bag searches, and they don't understand what any of this stuff is, I actually would pick this up there, at least I bought in Canada. But anyways, Vaseline, good old fashioned white petroleum jelly. It's, uh, the only thing you're going to hate about it is, and it's really hydrating, and it, it actually, you, when you're shaving, it's just very smooth, and I, I really like it, but the only thing you're going to hate about it is the cleanup on your sink afterwards, because this stuff is almost impossible to get down the drain, so you'll end up with the ring of hair and petroleum jelly and everything, but I mean, if you got sensitive skin, I shouldn't be going like this because it's off camera, <laughs> this is... The biggest recommendation I'll have, and it costs what a buck. Oh, probably yeah. It lasts and you forever. There's generic ones. Too. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even have to be store. brand name, high end Vaseline. You can get. <laughs> you can get anything you want. Uh, second off, actually, once you get the oil on, then you got to lather up, which you do with your brush. Uh, some guys have a bowl. Some guys have a cup. I just, you know, I just put some in my hand, lather it up. You can either go the route of shaving cream or shaving soap. 
And when I say shaving cream, I don't mean the crap in the can that comes out <laughs> that you're supposed to spray all over people's windows in the middle of the night. This is shaving cream. Again, same same uh, fragrance, art of shaving, and it is just a it's a cream. It's a nice, heavy, dense cream. You know, where am I at here? It's thicker than a moisturizer for sure, but it's and it lathers it lathers up really nice. It's like a whipped. Uh, and the second one, I bought this at a I don't even know what brand this is. I don't know. It's pretty cute though. I yeah, like it. but it's in a in a wood bowl. Top comes off. This is shaving soap. It's the hard bar that you actually take your you take your brush and water and get your your lather going in the bowl. Once you're done, wash this out. Put the top back on. It's great forever. I've had this this one. I'm not. I don't use it a terrible bunch, but I've probably had this one a two long years. Time. Probably long two time. years. Yeah. Uh, you do your shaves two times up down. And then uh, once you're done, of course, you got to get the cold, cold towel, which is not always a treat, but that closes up your pores nice, kind of cools down the heat of, of shaving your face. And then you want to get into an aftershave balm or lotion. Uh, this is, again, that same brand, same same uh, fragrance. It's just the, uh, it's called aftershave balm. Doesn't take much, really nice. but. If you've got some skin problems or whatever, I'm sure there's not the scented line, but I mean there's there's probably some uh, some high what do they call that the high lotion urea or not urea oh, that's like for your the, feet <laughs> the glycolic or yeah yeah like you know hydrating and of course if you've got skin problems that's something you've been dealing with and you probably know what to do more than anything but it's and then no aftershave stinging lotion that's the Alcohol, no and that's alcohol. the same. It's no the booze. same with us, ladies. Uh, no, no booze. No booze. Cheers. Oh, cheers, cheers. Oh, sorry. oh you love me. But you're wanting me to drink out of yeah. yours. <laughs> oh, should we do the romantic? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like so many people, like for us ladies. FYI, these shaving techniques. Um, I suffer severe psoriasis, especially on my legs. And I would go in with the disposable razor and some shaving cream and. Look like the shower scene out of uh, Psycho. Psycho. <laughs> I whack away against the grain on my legs and wonder why. And actually, I came in <laughs> and shaved shaved Jamie's legs one day and using his techniques and yep. they this is TMI kind of but the hair didn't seem to grow back as fast. My psoriasis spots did not get as irritated or flared or flaky and. No blood. No blood. <laughs> it was probably the best shave no crime ever. <laughs> uh, again, just to go with your kit, of course you got to buy too much of this crap, but you got to have a strop. And if you're getting a strop, make sure you got the one that's two sided. It's got the canvas side, the leather side. Uh, you can probably see on here how dirty that looks, and that's I always use. You can see on the one side here that it's fairly dirty. I I know there's different techniques and everything. I use the canvas side first. On my razor just to strop um, just to kind of clean off all the you know everything the shaving cream the little bit of face skin whatever's left in the blade and then the other side to uh, it's it's not to sharpen it's to polish which is what stropping is I'm gonna start peeling as he's talking because mine's starting to to lift well, I've got more luminizing to do <laughs> we'll see how bright uh, this is gonna make me brighter so then, uh, the only other things that I would have in your kit, number one's a styptic pencil. I don't use this very much, but I mean, if you do get a nick or something, you just wet it in, touch the touch the nick. It kind of stings, but uh, stops bleeding right away. And then, of course, a lot of you have nice long locks of hair. I I wasn't uh, so blessed, but uh, just a soft bristle brush. This one is uh, R.S. Stein, 100% pure bristle soft. And after a shower or whatever, I always just, I don't want to do it on this because I don't want the, this black goop in my uh, <laughs> brush. But you just, uh, ah, you just, what is it? Exfoliate, defoliate? Exfoliate. I think you defoliate trees. 
Well, and if you're John Cookie and you oxfoliate. Oxfoliate. <laughs> All right. Uh, good to do on your face. It's it's soft, so it's it's not a it's not an ochi. It looks like it is, but it's not. There's uh, stuff for women. You're actually you get a brush like that and you brush your whole body, and it's called dry brushing, and it's supposed to help with circulation and get rid of cellulite hmm. and stuff. I haven't tried that it. That sounds like uh, it wouldn't work at all. <laughs> uh, and then uh, right now I've got I've got a bit of a I know it's not a goatee, but it's what do they call? I don't know what. They yeah. Call anyways. It. But you want to, if you've got a mustache, you want to get a beard. This is not mine. I don't know where this even came from. It might be other kids' kits, but just a nice little brush. Or uh, not a brush, it's a comb. Just to straighten everything out. Uh, I was big into the waxes for mustaches for, for quite a while. I even made you one. Yeah. Actually, it worked not bad. This is, it's a local one. Actually, this one is. It's called Mammoth Beard Company. It's actually, this one's tobacco flavored. It smells nice. It really does. But the one thing, again, art of shaving. The uh, one thing I did not find... Not sponsored, but hey, if you want to sponsor, yeah, sponsor us gorgeous me, send people. Me, send, me some, <laughs> send me some oud soap. Yes. You buggers. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is molding clay. Which... Is it focus? Yeah. Yep. It, uh, I've had this for since, I don't know how long, and it's really lasted. It doesn't take much. I think it's a weird smell, almost like pine tree or something. But it does smell like pine sap. Is that like? But anyways, this is uh, almost the same as hair gel or whatever. But it's really good if you're, especially if you're wanting to do the handlebars. Which he does, and it looks very cool. And it, it'll hold better than the wax. The wax holds great. And then you go outside; it's hot. And then the max, the the max, the max starts to welt. The the wax starts to melt. <laughs> And uh, where's the clay hold? Really good. And any of the guys that you know you see in those the German videos with the great big mustaches, everything. This is what they're using is the molding clay. Or the cowboy videos. I think that's horse poop. Oh. <laughs> I think it might be horse poop. Uh, and then the only other thing when you've when you're running a bit of a beard or mustache, even you know however much, is uh, beard oil. And this Jamie got from somebody. I might have got that one at um, Tommy Guns, maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe this one smells nice. And it's, what is it? Brompton and Langley. But I mean, it doesn't matter. Use some whatever, whatever kind of oil. I mean, you just need some moisture in your beard, or else you end up. Number one, it'll just be stringy, raggy, or or it'll start breaking off, or you'll have hairs every diff different direction. And that's, I think. Oh, I got to say about that. What's the last little thing over there? Oh, this was, uh, yeah, this was actually Jamie bought. I was going to mention uh, this is strop paste. It goes on your strop. I've had my strops now for five years. Yeah. And I've never even opened this can, so I'm not even opening it now. Oh, I got him something useless. I know uh, if you want to talk to the, you know, the real barber crowd and the real shaving crowd, they'll probably say, do this, do that. And I'm probably doing everything wrong, but it works good for me. Uh, I used to have a lot of ingrown hairs in my in my neckline, especially. Oh, and they'd look so sore. But it was time. a lot of that, guys, is just because you're shaving wrong. You know, you want to start first pass with the grain, second pass against the grain, cool it down, oil it down, or not oil it down, bomb it down, and be done. And I mean, I'm no metro, I'm no hipster, I'm hillbilly that... <laughs> that we uh, are... Redneck oil field trash. Yep. And we say that lovingly because it's not a slight because that's what we are. Yeah, so ladies, go in the bathroom, steal all of your men's leg razors, crotch razors, whatever you want to call them. Get them out, get them out of their hands. Get rid of them. So as, say, oh, gotta, yeah, start shoot. peeling. So say a guy has only ever shaved using the disposables. What's the easiest way to baby step into your fancy routine, your straight razors or whatnot. Is there? Uh, you know the the probably the the easiest thing to do. Does it hurt? No, yeah, your it's eyes a are watering. Sticky. It's a little sticky. <laughs> it's too much hair. The easiest thing to do, uh, I I think, is go find your local barber shop and go for 
one, two, three shaves. They're not cheap, but they're. I think they're well worth it. Oh my goodness! I didn't tell him that I gave him oh. the painful one. <laughs> Mine came off so nice. Oh. Are you glad you put oh. it all on your head? Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, what is that? <laughs> uh, but anyways, go to your barber shop. Here, that's a good look. Now I got eyebrows. <laughs> hey, we could do you up and drag with those brows. Yeah. <laughs> go to your local barber shop again and uh, get a few shaves there. And rather than just well, number one, enjoy the shave, but. Uh, Notice the routine on, now they do a lot more different angles because they're really feeling to go across grain because you might have, not everything grows straight up and down. You can, guys, you can feel in your own beards, you might have stuff growing sideways. I, I don't think uh, as far as a home shaving scenario goes, you want to get too much into really getting every different direction because you'll have hairs growing 30 different directions, which means you got to shave 30 different times. Um, they might buy you one extra day on between shaves and it yeah it, it's just gonna wreck your skin it's gonna hurt you so you know I'm big you know twice feel around if there's something that's really really there but uh, I guess you know use your leg razors for a bit try the technique with your leg razors um, and then probably the next baby step would be a safety razor a little more danger involved, but I mean it's it's similar to the to the leg crotch razors, uh, and then you know, shaving with a straight razor is not for everybody. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of stress, and I mean it's. But you say stress, but when I yeah, watch, yeah, it's, watch it's you it's stressful. Shave. It's fun. I love it. No, when you, you first start, because yeah. you think you're going to have this big massive gash on your face, and I have had a few cuts. Which actually, if I got looking, I could probably even show you one little scar. But I mean, that's that's my own. But oh, I yeah. like watching you shave with a straight blade, and it's almost like he gets into this zen spot where he's. It's very cool. But. Oh my goodness, Jimmy! I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I, only, I have. I only had six hairs on the top, and they're all gone now. <laughs> you did get a lot of. I don't know what that is. For not for saying you don't have pores, there's quite a bit of. <laughs> so you know, uh, I, and don't overspend. The blades in these things are all relatively the same. What you're paying for is the, is the eye candy on them. You know, the scales being made out of, you know, 100% pure Israeli pine trees or you know mammoth tusk or, you know, whatever. Uh, the one thing, like I've got the two different razors, and I like them both, uh, but sometimes, like the, the the metal one, which Jamie bought for me, it, it it almost gets a little heavy, which sometimes I, I like the feel of, and sometimes I don't. Uh, and then again, with the thickness of them, you'll you'll notice so it's in eighths of an inch, which is five eighths, six eighths, not three quarters, seven eighths, or eight eighths, not one inch. Uh, a lot of that's just again, it's it's bragging rights. It's the the thicker the blade is, the only thing that does for you, other than weight, is it gives you more to sharpen. So if you're a barber, you might want an eight eight razor because you might be sharpening you might be sharpening it every other day. Whereas like mine, I've I bet you I've been a year since I've actually sharpened because yeah. I straw every time. Take care of them. Don't touch them on anything. Yes. The sink. If you touch the sink with them, it'll be a nick. And if you get a nick in it, stop shaving with it. Go back to your lady bix. If that's all you have around, um, and get it, get it, get it sharpened properly, sharpened. And that's about it. I think, like you said, don't just don't go overboard on it. You know, get the things that are proper that you need. Well, and decide if you like it. It's like anything, yeah. right? If you're. But it's easier to like. I had a buddy <coughs> of mine that bought a razor online. It was fifteen dollars. And no, I'm sure it doesn't get the same quality of metal and whatever else. Oh, I got one eyebrow, so I look like I'm really surprised. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as far as trying out, 15 bucks, like, what do you owe? You're, that's almost what your other razor was going to cost you anyways. So, 
just some tips but even if you stick with your shave with your lady bix get shave into the, get into the other regiment of of your wife's conditioner the oil a good lather uh, repeat in the opposite direction with the oil with the lather face with a cold as cold as you can get and actually even if you wanted to bring up a little bowl or a whatever that had ice water in it put on your towel put your towel on your face and actually even in the winter time I love it because I'll go back outside just to let my face get that extra coldness just it hits you and I mean it, it works way better but it's the routine not so much the equipment but the routine that's probably my biggest tip now that we're mostly peeled off what was your thoughts on the Basha mask it was illuminating yeah luminizing. luminizing 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 black mask what were your thoughts do you feel luminized I feel I don't know I'm gonna wait for the comments to come in to see how I really feel about it <laughs> Is, is, uh, I have one hate watcher. Yeah. Yeah, you don't make it on YouTube until you have that person that you post a video and before even the time has elapsed to watch it, you get the, the thumbs down. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe maybe she'll love me. Maybe. Maybe it's God. I can, maybe he'll love me. Oh, that's a possibility. Huh. Okay, so what's your thoughts? Would you recommend this mask? No. No. <laughs> no. I would recommend the beer. <laughs> the beer was good. Support Canadian local. Support, yep, Six Corners Brewery. Um, I liked mine. Mine wasn't painful to take off. Mine hurt. But that's why I gave you that. Luck. That really actually, yeah. That, and it doesn't even come off. Well, you've got hair there is why it's not coming off. But your skin no, looks I wonder, fabulous. I wonder. <laughs> okay. Well, while he is... Uh... See? <laughs> looks great. While he's uh, fixing himself, uh, I like my mask. I don't know how uh, brightening it was, but uh, we had fun. So Actually, looking at the stuff that came out of it, I would have to say it, it worked. worked. But I don't. Maybe that was the stuff that I was supposed to keep and not get rid of. No, it was cleaning out your pores, and your skin does look good. Does it? It does. Mm. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Sheet Face Saturday with some manly man shaven tips or Father's Day gift ideas is, or the like. This is a huge favor. <laughs> I'm sure I'll pay for it later. Um, if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And uh, I'm working on my goodie basket, I think I've mentioned, at 500 subscribers. Oh, that's kind of a goodie basket. 500 subscribers I'm gonna do another giveaway of some of my favorite items and yeah so thank you thank you and uh, until next time love you guys so much bye get your clothes off <laughs>